On the last part we saw Ouija Boy's Ouija Bot battle through its trials and tribulations to win the Robot Wars Championship and a bent tin can in the process it then came up against Dominator 2 in a futile attempt to beat it because Dominator 2 used nitrous oxide and thought we were a rugby ball. It was impossible to beat him until finally he decided to take a nap into the pit. More of this in part 3, hopefully not as much failing. Um, do you have okay. time for one more tournament? I think so. Alright, let's try out... Do you, shall we... Tr shall we oh, shall we stick with triangle your shit on wheels or... Ooh, I don't honestly know what we can afford from this stuff, so... Nah, let's go If it. anything's below 1,000 and 2,000, I'd be surprised. Uh, I'm... I pledge not to use any of the same robots this time, so which one should we go for? Thrift Top Rumble. Yeah, I think I've got more likelihood of winning on that. And also, we get to see if Dead Metal and Refbot still have a tight relationship with each other. <laughs> Do you know, for some strange reason then, I got the feeling that if I hit the forward button at the right time, I'd get a boost, like on the go races. I'm not sure why. <laughs> this isn't Mario Kart. <laughs> it could be. This is a mod for Mario Kart. Watch people googling it now. Robot Wars mod for Mario Kart. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Seriously, that saw is so white. It whines more than my mother. <laughs> At the kids. Uh, I would laugh if Refbot stood on... Well, well, remained on the glass roof too long and he fell through. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him. He seems to have a death sentence every now and then. Oh wait, he already has one. <laughs> Him being created was the death sentence. It's ironic though, because the ref bot's supposed to be like the onlooker, and yet he's the one that the most interesting stuff happens to. <laughs> like getting pitted in the series. And the yeah, pit had to be raised up just to bring him back up. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, why did Killwater get his entrance music, and Plunderbird got their own entrance music, but the ref bot didn't? It's like they didn't care about the ref bot. Ah, uh, the forks are broken off. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then comes ref bot. I'm in the corner. I'm in the naughty corner. Off the corner, and here comes the blade. I'm out of the naughty oh. corner. Come on, get off the edge. Oh. Or hump the lamppost. What? <laughs> I think Panic Attack fell off the edge. Oh, he might have actually or fallen he down have, Or he could have used the glass roof. Yeah. Yes. Which floor would you like? Going down. Bottom, please. <laughs> Lift approaching the floor. first floor. Doors uh, open. <laughs> can opener. Can opener. Unfortunately, not the yeah. real can opener. And by that, I don't mean like a thing you use to open beans or like tin farts. I mean, there was a robot called can opener, I think. Yeah, I remember that. Didn't he use... Oh, wait. Uh, can opener was the one with the uh, gloves, I think wasn't so, it? Yeah. But this can opener huh. has. It's essentially like a better version of us. <laughs> Isn't he made out of wood? Um, no, wait, that's titanium. I think that's steel, I think. It might be like steel painted to look like wood. Like Undertaker did. I don't mean the WWF wrestler or whatever. Oh no, I'm flipped up and over. I'm frightened myself because I'm a bitch. I mean, beast. <laughs> Comes to kill a lot. He's not happy that I've been self righted. Dead Metal's just not happy in general. He's on antidepressants. What can axes can open have? Um. Okay. A vampire's tooth, I think. Ah. Maybe it's a basilisk tooth, actually. Ah. Oh, axes locked. Axes locked, thumbs down. <laughs> Who's gonna die first? Um, I'm guessing Refbot. <laughs> Is the oh. pit open yet? I don't know. I was That's attacking him and I managed to... Oh, oh. Wait, did he just go off the edge? Yes, he did. He did. <laughs> and he's out I of... think he just followed soon after. I, I was about to follow. But, yeah. but the power of Cal was God on my side. Son. The power of moon compels you. 
Let's move on to the next round. Uh, you're so punny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You quickly learn which robots are easily beatable and which aren't. Yeah. I've still not quite figured out what those things are on that guy's head. Oh. They're either chickens or like Roman gladiator hats. And by the way, you lost your soul. Uh, it wasn't doing much good anyway. Oh, I heard a cow. And by the way, those are Roman hats. Right. Good for cleaning shoes. <laughs> Carmen Electra appears to be in this match as well. Okay, I, I've not just lost my soul. I've lost my dignity. Armor. <laughs> You've lost your Fuck. underpants. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And there goes dead metal. Maybe that's what this is. Going down in the pit is some sort of ritual. Like, sacred <laughs> robot chant. Maybe it's a way of summoning Obelisk the Tormentor or something. I don't know. Oh, this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh! Come on! I, well, it's not <laughs> Robot Wars either. It's, it's just some random crazy game that they've thrown together with the Robot Wars logo on it and gone, here you go. We're not going to release another game again, just pretend it's a Robot Wars game. Back again? Hmm. Me thinks some convenient editing could come in handy here. I <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, the first thing that seems to happen in a match is, it seems to be a sequence Cow's heads fall off. Refbot kills himself. Sergeant Bash usually follows, but he's not on this map. Jesus, talk about forklifts, free. Come on, let's attack. Panic attack in the corner, or okay, force me out of the corner. B Razor, Puncho, holds in Matilda. <laughs> Oh, she's got a fly. Yeah, oh, the flywheel right. isn't that destructive. I remember, Matilda has a flywheel in this game. Whoops! Yeah. Well, it was meant to be interchangeable, but it was so destructive that they never put it back. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, you lost your axe. Yeah. It's resulting. All you, you can, all you can basically go look for is just pushing them off or get the glass drift to break. Yeah, but last time I tried doing that, I fucking drove in myself. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was lucky. Oh, yay. <laughs> I was tipped over, like, literally as. Looks like panic attack, had that. Yeah, panic attack. Yeah. That sounded like you were gargling <laughs> cyanide or something. I'm learning scream, leave me alone. <laughs> Oh great, so I spent time repairing my fucking cow's heads, but couldn't repair my soul guide. <laughs> How many cow's heads does this thing have? We brought know. five boxes. Just... The cow's heads are our mascots. We brought five boxes just in case. Well, it's like Deator, they went through more fur than hookers through morning after pills. It's like, where do they get it all from? <laughs> you can't go to Hobbycraft and buy polka fur, can you? Probably not. Oh Jesus, that robot's scary. I know. Oh, Imagine oh. that digging into your legs. What Dead the? metal is... Well, I know he's supposed to be a scorpion. <laughs> I don't think he was Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Bot. Spider-Bot does whatever a spider cannot. I don't know. <laughs> no, <it's> a beagle! <laughs> what? Um, I said, where's your beagle? <laughs> I miss Snoopy. <laughs> where's your beagle? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a Snoopy fan for the purpose of this video. <laughs> Did you say Dead Metal, man? <laughs> okay, so Dead Metal's gone for a skinny dip in Tokyo. He got bored of the rooftop and decided he wanted to go and see some of those, I don't know, famous Japanese sites. <laughs> That's the point. Maybe this is the answer why Craig Charles isn't on this game, is because he's too busy filming Takeshi's Castle whilst we're in Japan. <laughs> Maybe. 
That was I guess it's casual, but I'd say not a bad show. It was bad when they brought it back with Dick and Dom. <laughs> In the bungalow. <laughs> okay, my teeth. I still remember back. that show. Oh, Dick. Yeah, I conveniently avoided it. Oh no, we've got Moose versus Moose. Moose of the Maryland. world. Moose of the world. Moo Come at me, you Moo! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he has a, he has a flipper. Let's hey, go. we both lost Whatever. a... We both lost a cow. I've lost another cow. You're cowless. Little boy Peep lost her sheep. <laughs> and little boy Jake, well, big boy Jake, lost his... Balls? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really okay. rhyme. I'm, I'm actually going to pretend that actually makes sense. <laughs> that uh, that made perfect sense. I, I, I actually agree with you. What the fuck is that? So like... You agree with me on what? I've said quite a lot of random stuff. Point proven. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and whine in a corner, or not. Oh, that's a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad. Oh, the switchblade. Come on, get flipped up and over. He oh, should get it. flipped Ooh. over. Come on. Follow the leader, bitches! Oh, good bull, good jeezel. <laughs> well, that's the only good thing, oh. is that because everybody follows you, what the? you can lead them into places. <laughs> The Argo only lasted 40 seconds. You'd, this game would be great for torture victims. Well, not for victims, <laughs> but like people capturing people for torture. Do you like seeing views? Can I say do? Enjoy the first floor view. <laughs> uh, better than foreplay, anyway. Um, well, robot foreplay would be very painful. And disgusting oh to watch. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I've been Devil Boy Scooby. And I've been Ouija Boy. And we've been disgusted by robot porn, and it's only been the first part. Look forward to more disgusting innuendos next time on... Insert funny title name here. <laughs> oh, I swear I'm mental. You are. <laughs>